Hello everybody. Today we gonna um design up a sweet, let's say Louis Vuitton custom. We gonna make it fast and simple. You know how we do it over here. So got the template up. If y'all need the template, it will be in the description below. So let's go to Safari. We are already on um LV. As you can see, this one looks like it's embroidered. Embroidered, yeah. And then this one also look like a stitch in. Uh, so let's just say we want to grab this one. If you want a Mac, you can. Um, first off, let's go here. Whenever you're looking for anything, like an image or something like that, you want to type in what you're looking for. You want to come down here to tools. You want to come down here to size. And you want to go to large. That gives you like the better quality. Sometimes you still might be some little ones in here. Little, little images, but... Nine times out of ten, you got the big ones. So let's say, and a lot of people, when they um looking for images, they take this one and drag it or save this one. Anytime you're looking for an image, you want to click on it, and when it blows it up and bring it over here, you will drag and drop or save this actual image. So we're going to drag this one and let go, and that brings it in Photoshop. Boom. Let's type in um, LV print. Let's type in PNG. Okay, we'll just get this one. I'm gonna bring that one in. Now, let's say, so since there's purple already, Let's type in purple, purple and gold wallpaper. Let's see. So we're going to go with this one. So we're going to drag and drop this one. Or you, uh, if you want a PC, you will come... Come over here, right click, save save image image as, and then hopefully you will save it to your like desktop just so you can know where it's at. Go grab it and bring it right into Photoshop. And how you do that is say you on your t-shirt template and you go to file, open, and then you'll go to your desktop. And find that picture that you're looking for and bring it and then the pop it bring it right in. So now with this one, we're gonna go back to uh, Safari or Google and type we're gonna find uh grunge PNG. So let's say I'll show y'all how to get freaky with these just to add a little extra oomph and this no perfect one you just find whatever catch your eye that you think you could do something with so it's a million of them above uh, up there that I could have chose but you know you just find what, what you think you can work with So in the next two seconds, I'm just going to grab one. Let's see. This one. Good. So just something that got a little character to it. So you see this got an arrow in there. It got different kind of arrows. Got the dots. You know, so we're going we're gonna to grab that one too. And then just to throw it off, let's add a... Uh, Let's say, let's get a, uh, we're going to type in purple city. And the whole thing about Photoshop is image manipulation. So sometimes you will grab a whole bunch of stuff that do not make sense and you make it make sense. So let's type city. Go 
about here. I'll grab that one. And our job is to teach y'all how to get cold, sweet, fast, making money, ASAP. So what else we need? That's the city. We got the grunge. We got the logo. We got the pattern. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's let's go. Just we'll see what we get so far. Okay. Now I'm back on a t-shirt. I'm gonna grab the LV. I got my move tool, which is the top tool right here. This your move. I mean your tool to make you stretch and stuff like that. A lot of people stretch from the middle. I don't do that. I always go to the corner and stretch. And now with the last update that Photoshop did, you used to have to hold shift and stretch out, but now you don't have to hold shift. Anytime you go to a corner, it's going to keep everything in the right proportion. So now I just drag this over. Let it go. Now I can click back to this tab right here. Each image that we just brought in brings up a new tab just like you was on the web. So this is my t-shirt. This is my uh, different layers that of imagery that I brought in. Boom. Okay. So now we go back here. We already brought this over here. So now we can delete that. It's going to ask us to save. You say no. Go to the next one. Come grab our pattern. Let go. Click back on that tab. Now we can get rid of that. Click on the next one. That's our background. Let go. Click on that one. Get rid of that. Kick our, bring our grunge over. Get rid of that. Then we're going to click over here and get rid of that. All you're doing is trying to keep these tabs free because as you, if, you, if you get so many of them up here, then you, you it don't let you see all of them because there's so many. So as you bring your image over, clear them out. So now last thing is the city. City. Okay, get rid of the city. Now that leaves us with the t-shirt template. So now, over here to your right is your layer panel. So each one of these eyeballs mean that the layer is visible. So if I turn this off, that's the city. If I turn this off, that's my grunge. That's my background. That's my print. That's my LV. So turn them all back on. And I'm finna name them. It's my city. You come over here to where the layer at. Double left click. Name it. City. The next one is the grunge. Double left click. Grunge. The next one, background. Next one, print. Next one, logo. Okay, now that we know what everything is, let's click on the background. So now we're going to stretch this out. When you stretch it out, sometimes it get a little fuzzy. Move it into position. And you see this check mark. This is to let the... Um, Computer know that you're done making that move and you, and you want to go on to the next. So you hit check. It should clear up. Boom. Oh, there we go. And it still look a little fuzzy because that image wasn't good enough. So I'll go grab another real quick. Sorry about that. But you guys can use whatever one you got just for this uh, tutorial. So I'm going to go try to find a bigger one. Like I said before, go to tools, size, large. So let's go back up and we're going to change this to background instead of wallpaper.
this here. I think I type purple and gold. That look more like it. So I think that's the one we chose. And that should bring us up some more options. All right, now we enter. We're going to bring this one in real quick. Sorry about that. Sometimes images be big and make your computer trip out. So now we're going to name this one background. And then we're going to turn this one off. We don't need that one. So we're going to stretch this one out. Hit enter. Now that's crispy. Stretch it a little bit more. I'm just gonna go from the center right now since the image is so big. And I hit check to let the computer know I'm done and ready to go to the next move. What? And don't forget to download this template. Um, the description will be in the link below how to download it and. Um, it's very, 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 very helpful for anybody that's trying to do like all over printed t-shirts and stuff like that. So now look, we over here. I'm shirt template or template. And if to give you guys a tip, these over here is you can drag it, you can move these around, up and down, and stuff like that. So right now you don't see the t-shirt template right now because everything is covering it up. So we want to come over here where ain't nothing at and drag this all the way to the top and let go. So now everything will is under when you design it, you put everything behind this layer. So now we got okay, we got the wallpaper right here. So now we got the grunge. We're gonna stretch that out. As you can see, you gotta hit the check button. Let the computer know you're done with that. I'm clicking on here. So now I got the height. How do you get rid of this white? It's about 30 ways you can get rid of the white. So one of my favorite ways is we can go with the magic wand, which is one, two, three, four down. You hold it. You go down to the magic wand and let go. And you'll click on the white. It's going to recognize all the white. Now, as you see, let me zoom in. Some places it didn't get in, it didn't get to. So we'll hit delete right now. So everywhere it could touch, everywhere that the, the, the magic wand could get in, every crevice, it did. But the ones it couldn't get in, it could not get in there because it's blocked off by black. So we are coming here. We got that hold down shift so you can make multi selections. Now we in there. We don't have to worry about them small ones. Let's go here, here. Because we want to keep that arrow shape. That's kind of dope. So now we enter. Hit delete. Okay. Boom. Now we can turn that off. We don't need that right now. Where are the other layers at? We got the city. Boom. Stretch your city from the corner. Down. Boom. I can put the city up here. I can put it right here. So let's go right here with the city. Now, another one of my favorite tools is the blend tool. So you'll come here and get your eraser. Boom. Right click. Want to come up a little bit more. I got my um, eraser at 3200 and I got my hardness on 11. So when I come off here, now you just 
Look at that blend. You can just hit it, and I need y'all to all play with that over and over and over again. Just your blend tool, because that's what makes you a sweet designer when nobody see no hard lines or anything like that. And you can we can move this around. See how it looks up there. So we'll put it, we're gonna put that right there. Boom. Let's go to the logo. So now we don't see the logo because it's behind the city and the um, background. So let's come up here and bring it up a little bit. Let go. Now we got the LV. Stretch the LV. All right, my bad. Let's go from the corner. Hit check to let the computer know you're done. Let's put this center. Now, to change the color or something, you come over here to the layers. We on a logo, look on the logo layer. You turn it off, turn it on. You see what layer you're working on. Come over here where nothing's at, double left click. Now I come down here to color overlay, click on that. Now you see it turned to gray. So now you come in this gray box right here, click on it. It gives you your color picker. Now you see you can change it, any color that's in here. You can move this over here to change the colors. Or if you come over here, now this you see it change from a circle to a dropper. This dropper set, uh, samples colors on your artwork. So if I came over here and chose this red, I chose something that's in the artwork like a purple, black, purple. You know, any color that you choose on here is going to sample that color. So now we're going to choose that. Hit OK. And we still have this panel up. What this panel do? This panel, if you want to add an outline, if you want to add a drop shadow to make stuff pop off. So now we got the drop shadow on. I'm going to come add a white stroke also. And with your strokes, if you click on this and highlight it, you got center, inside, outside. So right now we center this outside. You go up here, that's outside, I'm sorry, inside, center. So I like the inside. Let's click that. Hit OK. So now the shirt are already looking like something. Now we're going to go to the pattern, the print. Let's bring the print up. Let go. Stretch it. Stretch it. So now with this, we're going to use that magic wand again because as you see, they have these small checkers in here. And sometimes people, it's always hard trying to get them checkers out. I found out that you can um, use your magic wand to get them out. So as soon as the computer done playing, you click on there. You want to click on these. Boom. Everything is highlighted. But you see, you couldn't get in here because it's a shape right here. And it's, it's, it's anywhere it is not purple, it's going to highlight. But it can't get in there because there's no opening for it to get in. So you hold down shift. Now you in there. Shift. I'm steady holding shift until I get all the way done. So steady hold shift until you all the way done clicking all of them. And as you see them little small, um, the same shapes that I'm doing right now, you see the other ones that look like the inverse. As you can see, them got a little white circle in the middle, like right here, that I didn't get yet. So I'll go back and get them later. Well, in a second. <laughs> okay, boom. We did all that. So now I'm going to go get that one, that one. I'm clicking in the centers. That magic wand is a bad tool, I'm telling y'all. LV better try to hire me, you feel me? This is about to be nice. Okay, so after this last three, two, Three, four, last four. I'm going to just hit delete. Get rid of that background for me one time. 
Uh. So now you still see the marching ants going around. You can hit command or you can hit control and D. That's for deselect. And that gets the marching ants away. So now I go back and get my move tool. I'm going to move this to position and stretch it. And then once I'm done with that, you see the check mark up here, hit OK. I'm done. Let the computer know you're done. And then I'm going to go grab that eraser. Right there. And I'm just going to blend. Got to get that blend game. And I'm actually, when you're doing it, you can push it, push it, push it, or you can uh, hold down your left click and just keep blending and play around and get familiar with how the blend tool works. So when I'm finally done and the computer catch up to me, I'm going to bring that big LV in the middle. I'm going to bring that on top of the actual uh, LV pattern. So now you see the LV logo on top of the pattern. I'm going to click on the logo and drag it on top of the pattern let go. That's going to bring that forward. And now you got your prints in the background. So now let's say the prints is too close to this color. I'm going to click back on the prints. And I'm going to play with the opacity up here. So say you drag it down. I see how it just turned into a sweet little shadow and coming in harder. So I'll keep that right there. Now let's go to the grunge. Wow. We already cut the background off from our grunge, so we're gonna make this grunge white. Come here, come over here to the side, double left click, bring up our uh, layer styles, do a color overlay, we want that white. Come over here to white, okay, okay, boom. Now look at that effect. We're gonna put one right here, we're gonna come over here to grunge, we're gonna right click, duplicate layer. Okay, we still got our move tool. We're gonna come over here and drag out. Look at that. Come back over here. We're gonna right click, duplicate. Drag this down. So now you see this behind the city. So let's go to here and we're gonna drag this up over the city. And also, once you see these squares, if you don't, if you don't see these squares, I'm sorry. I meant to tell y'all this in the beginning. You come up here to auto select, you check it. And you come to show transform controls, and you check it. If you take these off, you don't know what you're working on. And the only way you can select them is if you come over here and change it over here, and select the layer that you want to work on. But when you check both of these, now you can just put the mouse on top, and it'll select. It's like an auto select. So I'm going to make that one a little smaller. Play around with it. You can turn them. As you can see, once you see that, see how I got an arrow right here with my mouse. And then I come over to a corner. You, I got the arrows bent. And that means when you hold down left click, you can, you can do angles. Boom. So now to make this pop, it look a little weird because the background template is white. So if I come up here to template, I come over here and show y'all how to do the, um, the color overlay. I'm going to double left click. We're going to color overlay and make that black. Now look at the shirt. This look like something they'll be a make or if not colder. Somebody aware of that? So there y'all go. If y'all, when y'all um, also on Facebook, join Amazing School of Designers, A-H-M-A-Z-I-N-G, School of Designers, and show us that y'all created, recreated this, man. Come on. We the coders in the game. Our designs is not the same. Follow us on YouTube, man. Subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm going to be up and up. I'm going to update um, the weekly, weekly tutorials, you know, get everybody, get everybody sweet. Our, our goal is to um, teach the world how to design one day at a time. Holla.